So you want to go to WGU, but you don't want to pay the price. Get a scholarship. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and I am your friendly neighborhood IT girl. Today, coming at you with a student success guide episode. We're gonna be talking about how you can get your college education at least somewhat paid for. And um, as you guys may or may not know, I went to WGU and I got two scholarships, one for my undergraduate and then one for my graduate studies. So today I'm gonna walk you through how to get a scholarship. And a few months ago, I told you guys that I was gonna come out with a student success guide. A couple of you have asked me about that and you may or may not have seen it on my website, but um, I'm gonna be real with you, I got busy. <laughs> so I decided to turn it into a video series and here is the episode where we talk about how to get a scholarship because WGU may be one of the most affordable colleges out there. Typically, degrees range from about $3,500 to $5,000, and that's, that's a pretty good price for a degree. However, that's still like 40 trips to the grocery store, so, but those little bags of Trader Joe's be adding up for me. Side note, the Vons app is class. Uh, but if you wanna get a scholarship, here's how you can do it. It's very, very simple when you go through WGU to do it and it's because they put everything in a portal. So there's a portal and I will link it below in the description or I'll put it in a comment, pen comment or something, somewhere where you can easily find it. You just go to this website and it's all there in one place. You're just gonna fill out a couple of uh, sentences about yourself and then you are going to have to write a small essay. So typically with scholarships, you have to write a really long essay and it has to encompass something about whatever the company is that you're trying to get a scholarship from. So if that's like an automobile company and you're trying to study technology or computer science or cybersecurity, you know, you have to try and tell car companies why they need to give you money to do that and uh or art companies you know all sorts of random companies that you may or may not have any sort of connection with so wgu kind of takes that out of the out of the game here you don't have to try and be like i need this money and i would do this in the field of what your company is in um once i graduate like they don't make you do it that way per se what you do need to do is be sincere though so you need to sincerely explain why you should be given some money and then you know probably what you're gonna do with it i did about a two to three paragraph essay that was it it was two to three paragraphs and uh, i got my scholarships with that so it doesn't have to be long and super in depth or anything like that like i said it'll just be one application that you fill out then you go into this portal and there will be tons of different scholarships that you can apply for that are directly distributed through wgu now they are geared towards certain demographics so some of them may be for minorities some of them may be for women some of them may be for vets um you know all sorts of different things but here's the secret here you go guys free of charge i will tell you the secret to getting a scholarship it is a numbers game. You just have to apply to a bunch of them. So like I said, be sincere in your application. However, do not discriminate on who you send your application to. You know, you want to be, I mean, aside from things that you are obviously completely wrong for, but you want to be like anything that you absolutely have any sort of a chance to get. You're like, it's like for people with brown hair or something it's like oh my god i have brown hair <laughs> or like your hair is sandy brown it's like but it's pretty much brown so like apply to that um so you want to just make sure that you're you're playing your numbers game trying to get your your application out there to the most amount of scholarships possible another tip for you since wgu typically when you apply you have about a month or a couple of weeks worth of wait time before you actually start going to the school because as you may or may not know, all the all the terms start on the first of the month. So no matter when you apply, you're always going to start on the first of the the subsequent month, like either the, the immediately following month or some uh, some month after on the first, whatever one you decide. But because of this, you've got all this extra time. However, you are technically part of the college as soon as you talk to your enrollment counselor and you get enrolled in the school. So your your best thing to do next would be to go into this portal and just start applying for these scholarships because you're already in the school, but you're not actually, you know, attending classes yet. The benefit of doing this way is that by the time that you actually start your courses, you'll pretty much know whether or not you've got a scholarship. Typically speaking, I think within the first two weeks, I would usually know whether or not I have got a scholarship. And they did that by sending out an email and then also by putting it into your financial aid uh, portal. So it'll show you, that's where your bills are. And then it'll show you in there that 
you've got a scholarship and it'll take a certain portion of your, you know, of your tuition off. So that's how it goes. And that's how I would recommend doing it. As soon as you get enrolled in the college, go to this website, go apply for some scholarships. Um, in terms of what to write in your scholarships, like I said, everybody's story is different. Be sincere. Uh, don't, don't outright lie because that's wrong. Uh, but you just want to make people understand that you're going to be helpful in the world somehow. <laughs> you know, you just like, hey, I would really appreciate this, this scholarship because of X, Y, and Z, you know, and then with, with that money, I would be able to do this. Like, these are what my long-term goals are for utilizing my degree. These are what my short-term goals are for utilizing the degree. If you have something like really interesting that you're planning on doing in a short period of time. But typically speaking, that's what people want to see when you're looking at the scholarships. They want to know who you are, they want to know why you want the money, and then they want to know how you're going to change the planet <laughs> with that money. So those are the three things that I think that you should focus on in there. And if you can be funny or, you know, like be endearing and, and things like that, then definitely try and do that within your essay. WGU is very, very good with sending out emails anytime different organizations decide to work with the school um, and they're offering money so it's like you'll get emails from the financial aid department for anything that comes up so if uh, like WinTech which is the Women in Technology Club they've just recently got a scholarship going so I, I highly recommend any women who are watching this channel hey y'all girls in tech yay um, I highly recommend that you would apply for that one as well because it's a new one. So there's going to obviously be a lot less competition. I don't know how many people actually read their WGU emails. So this would be something that you guys can jump on real quick. Additionally, there are some, there are some, um, stipulations as to how many scholarships you can get. And I think you can only take one from WGU at a time. So. You want to take the, the one that's biggest. If you happen to get two or three or more or whatever, choose the one that's the biggest scholarship because you can't take them all. So if you get one that's $600 and then you get one that's $1,500, um, go ahead and take the $1,500 one because obviously that one's better. You also have it to where scholarships are sometimes multi, multi-term. So they'll usually have a large upfront amount. So for the first term, you might get $1,500, but then if you're there, uh, any subsequent terms, it'll d go down in, in value a lot. So like if it starts at 1,500, maybe the next semester it's like 500, you know, and then it could just be 500 for the rest of the time there, or it could still go lower as well. So just make sure that you read the, the fine print of the scholarship when you're applying just so you know what you're getting into again because if you get multiple offers then you can only choose the one that you the one that you pick that's the one that you get so make sure that you read through and make, you understand whether or not it's a lump sum whether it's one that will follow you throughout your time at the school or how many terms that it could be applied to different things like that. Uh, so I think that is it guys. Hopefully that helps you out. I hope that you all get scholarships. If you have any more questions about how to get a scholarship, I am happy to answer them if I know the answers to them as always. But again, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.